Okay, so today we're gonna install retro arch on the Wii. So first we're gonna install the channel. So go to Wii Mod Lite. Press start. Go to the Mod Manager. Press A. Press A on the Wii SD slot. Go down to your WADS folder. And there's the Retro Arch Wii uh, channel folder. So just press A to install. Press A again. Shouldn't take too long. Press A to continue. And then press Home to go back to the Wii menu. And we should have the Retro Arch channel. And there it is. Press A to load it up. Press start. Let it load up. And there it is. Now load a core or whatever systems you have. I have a Nintendo game in my ROMs folder, so I'm gonna do a Nintendo emulator here. Press A. Now it's loaded, now load content. Go to your SD card. Go to your ROMs folder, NES, I created three folders, one for NES, one for Sega Genesis, and one for SNES. Today we're going to be doing the NES, so press 2. And I picked Mega Man for NES, so press 2 again to load it. And the core. Should start right up. There you go. Press start. We'll show a little bit of gameplay. Plays just like the emulator. There you go. Everything looks fine. Whenever you want to exit, just press home. Uh, you can go to load another core here. Or you can quit RetroArch. There's also settings. You can go into settings, do driver, video, audio, everything. You can load another core. Go for SNES, press 2, uh, load content, select file from SD, ROMs, Super Nintendo, and then F0. So press 2, go to the emulator itself. And there's F0 for the Super Nintendo. Show a little bit of gameplay. There you go, just a little bit of gameplay. Plays perfect. Perfect, okay. Press home. Exit, quit RetroArch, press 2, should take you back to the, to the main menu, the Wii, and now I'll show you how to set it up on the SD card and get you playing uh, with RetroArch.
Okay, so now back on the Wii, I'm going to leave you two links in the description. One is for the official page of RetroArch itself. So you scroll down on the page until you find the Wii right there. Press download. It'll download RetroArch if you want to do it this way. Or I left you another page for the RetroArch Wii in the WeeBrew.org. Just go over to links and then just download it there. It's exactly the same. It's always updated. Now I'll show you what the SD card should look like. Here's my SD. So I got apps with RetroArch Wii with all the folders. Wiimaw Lite to install the channel. RetroArch, which the Wii itself will, will create this folder for you. Once you take the SD card out of the Wii again. And then a ROMs folder where you can have all your subfolders for all your games. So I got one ROM for each. There you go. And then you'll have the WADs. That's where the channel for the RetroArch is to install the WAD. So that's basically it. Pretty easy. If you have any questions or comments, uh, put them down below. And uh, on to the next video.